Who do we have the pleasure of speaking? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Tell me. Speak on Zebra. 90s. I don't know. 536 in the morning. Anybody got a quarter? Anybody got a quarter? The man that walked by had a quarter. Who do we have the pleasure of speaking to? What's going on? It's Brian B. Dot Miller reporting live from the gutter, the Dungeons of Rap. Yes, the fake niggas don't make it back. But a bunch of killers and hundred dollar billers. What's good? What's going on? So, what was your inspiration from the 90s? What influenced you to dress how you dress now? But we know it came from the 90s. I dress it like how my mom had me in. You know what I'm saying? Because I wanted to be like all the... My mom called them hoodlums. You want to be a hoodlum? Yeah, but I want to be a hoodlum. You know, all these niggas had all the fly shit, and I wanted to be down. So the only thing about the 90s is that this entire, this whole ensemble, minus the beeper, but go today. You know right. what I'm saying? The 90s, that decade, right. left a crazy mark for the last 20 years. So That's a fact. That's all it is. So since you... Rap Radar, and yeah. you know for your list, yeah. who's your top five from the 90s? As far as what, dressing or what? We're going to go dressing, then music. Dressing top five is hard, but I'll, no order, Nas, Grand Poover, uh, we go big, uh, shit, maybe Pac, because he, he popped off the Versace, and, and, and Mob D, fuck looking cute, or strictly 10 boots and all these certified suits. Yeah, why not? As and guess what? Yeah. They from Queens. Of course. As far as rap go, Nas, J, Big, let's say LL Cool J, that 95, 96 era was kind of fire and prodigy. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 